From the newsroom at news.com.au. Energy companies face a consumer watchdog probe into any price gouging and anti-competitive conduct during the rolling national power crisis, with a report into the electricity market to be handed to energy ministers next month after a five-fold increase in wholesale electricity prices. The Australian Competition and Consumer Commission investigation will examine energy companies' profits and margins as part of a forensic audit into soaring energy bills linked to coal outages and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The crackdown will lead a series of regulatory reviews into the energy crisis as the industry navigates high prices, supply shortages and reforms, including a capacity mechanism to secure longer term base load power. Meanwhile, in some sad news, an 18-year-old teen from Sydney has died after a horror skiing accident at Threadbow in the state south. It's believed Oliver Johnston lost control and veered off a track on the slopes before striking a tree. Medical staff rushed to treat him at the scene, but they couldn't save him and he was later pronounced dead. Disability advocates are calling for an overhaul of the National Disability Insurance Scheme as parents slammed a one-size-fits-all approach to funding. Under current guidelines, severely autistic children are losing almost half of their funding when they turn five, even if their intellectual capabilities are years behind their peers. Physical Disability Council Chair Serena Ovens said she hoped the new Labor government will ensure a more individual approach approach to funding. Finishing with sport and England's Matt Fitzpatrick captured his first major yesterday by winning the US Open in dramatic fashion, making spectacular shots as rivals crumbled under final round pressure. After a thrilling three-man fight down the back nine at the country club, Fitzpatrick fired a two under par 68 to finish on six under par 274 and defeat American Scotty Scheffler and Will Zalatoris by one stroke. Get the latest from news.com.au.